deeply disappointed and frustrated because uh, obstruction trumps sound economic policy, but my frustration and disappointment is nothing compared to the 1.74 million Americans who would have preferred that this Senate move forward and advance an extension of unemployment insurance. This was an opportunity to provide real relief to these Americans, and each week 70,000 more lose their benefits. Um, before the end of the year, it will be millions of people who are without a modest sum of money each week to continue to look for work, who qualify for the program because they were working and their jobs were taken from them. They didn't leave voluntarily. Now, I must say that my colleagues on the other side, and I want to particularly thank those that support our efforts today, uh, have been thoughtful and, and, and helpful in trying to incorporate ideas. Uh, but the vast majority of, of my Republican colleagues just ignored those 1.74 million Americans today. They literally turned their backs on them. People are hurting. They all know it. We all know it. Um, but we couldn't get that one last vote. We're not going to give up. We're going to try again because the concerns of the American people deserve us, our efforts to continue. Uh, in one respect, uh, what the Republicans were doing were downsizing assistance for those who have already been downsized by this economy. And they can't claim it's in the name of fiscal responsibility because this legislation was a, a deficit reducer, fully paid for, in addition, reduces the deficit. That used to be the mantra of the Republicans, and now uh, they're not responding to that. We compromised on the size, the scope, the duration, the pay for. We, we added provisions that they had in the past presented. Uh, every time we said yes, uh, we got no. Uh, and the leadership particularly uh, was not conducive to helping us find a pathway forward. But individual colleagues and helped significantly. Senator Heller, Senator Collins, today uh, Senator Ayotte, so, uh, along with Senator Murkowski, are deeply appreciated. Uh, as was uh, said earlier by Senator Durbin, this is becoming sort of the, the shutdown caucus, the Republicans. You know, shut down the government, shut down UI, shut down everything. Um, we will move forward. We are uh, continued and committed to helping these Americans who have earned this assistance. I want to thank the Majority Leader, Senator Reid. He, he has dedicated an incredible amount of time and effort to do this because he understands personally and as the leader how important this is to the American people. And then finally, I think we have to disabuse the, the notion that some Republicans suggesting that this program is somehow immoral, it, it, it rewards weak characters. All, these are people who are struggling. My reaction and experience in Rhode Island is a lot of them are middle-aged Americans who have worked for 30 years, and this is the first time they've ever been unemployed. They're, they're looking desperately for jobs. There's three applicants for every opening. They're trying to balance taking care of their parents who are elderly and taking care of their children who are college age or beyond, um, and they are struggling. And I hope we can recognize their struggles and help them. Now, the bottom line here is uh, emergency assistance for those who are in distress, but then to get the economy moving again, to create jobs. You know, we've talked about restoring our manufacturing, uh, getting capital down to local small businesses, improving schools and workforce training, all those things. We can do those things. We must do those things because ultimately when you talk to people who are uh, on unemployment insurance and lost their benefits, they will tell you, yes, I need these benefits, but I really want a job. And that's our mission. But today, the immediate crisis, the immediate challenge is helping these people. And we came close, but close doesn't count. We've got to come back and prevail and help these people. At that, uh, let me call on Senator Gene Singh, who has been a great help in this effort. Gene?